Hey guys, I'm the 50s kid. You might be familiar with one of these kind of battery testers. It's a carbon pile tester. It actually puts the battery under a 100 amp load. You're not supposed to use it for longer than 10 seconds because that's about the length of a charging event. Also because, you know, it heats up and it actually could cause damage if you, uh, if you turn it off for longer than 10 seconds. But you know, it's supposed to represent basically like a, a typical starting event. You know, your, your, alt, your starter probably doesn't draw much more than 100 amps and, you know, that'll go ahead and start your car, but you don't know how many starts your battery has left in it. You don't know where in your battery's life cycle it is. It could be down to, you know, 50% uh, capacity from, you know, when it was brand new. You wouldn't be able to figure that out with one of these testers. You also wouldn't be able to tell what the level of charge is with this tester as well, because your battery could be down to like 20%. It might have one or two starts left in it. You wouldn't be able to figure that out. You'd only know if it could start your battery one time only. So. The place you want to go from there, as far as battery testing goes, is you want to try, you want to get a, a capacitance tester. So Foxwell actually sent me this one out to check out. So let's check it out. So with a capacitance tester, um, you want to go ahead and uh, get rid of any surface charge you might have on your battery. You might have a surface charge if you've just charged your battery up on a battery charger, or if you've just taken like a really long trip on the freeway or something, and your battery is totally topped up. Your alternator does charge at around at two volts higher than battery voltage, so it's going to be around 14 point something. So you're, it, it is possible for your battery to have a higher than 12.6 volt charge in it. The way you want to get rid of your surface charge is you just turn your headlights on for 10 seconds. That'll get rid of any surface charge you have. Then you can go ahead and use this tester. So we're just going to go ahead, hook this up. Can't get that on the terminal there. Okay, so we got quick test. We got battery in vehicle, battery out of vehicle. Not exactly sure what that is. Maybe, um, maybe having the, the the battery cables on the terminals of the battery causes a little bit of a change in the uh, the resistance because there's more metal that the electricity has to pass through. I don't know. That's that's my best guess there. Um, let's go ahead and do battery in vehicle. So we've got battery test, cranking test, and charging test. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's more than I thought it would have. Let's do battery test. See, it tells you to check the surface. Uh, yeah, get rid of the surface charge, turn your headlights on for 10 seconds, then turn them off. So we've got regular flooded, AGM, two kinds of AGMs, a gel, an EFB. Wow, I don't even know what an EFB is. I've never heard of that. Let's just go with regular flooded because that's what we have. CCA is cold cranking amps. DIN, JIS, EN, IEC. These must be all kinds of, you know, standards they have in other countries. SAE, that's probably what we have here somehow. MCA is marine cranking amps. BCI, I don't know what, and then just cranking amps. I don't know what any of the rest of those mean, honestly. Um, I, I suppose you'd have to look them up on the internet, but I do know what uh, CCA is because all of our batteries here in America always have a CCA mark on them. And this one, this one is 550, so we'll leave that at 550. And it's pretty quick too. 100% healthy, 76% charge, 12.46 volts. Okay, internal resistance, good battery. So that's pretty cool. You know, that's it. It shows you, it shows you your state of charge, but it also tells you a percentage that you're healthy that your battery is healthy. That makes sense to me because I recently replaced this battery. This is from December of 2015. So it's not too old. Actually, I suppose it's coming up on a year and a half, but you know, after a year and a half, I wouldn't expect it to be, uh, you know, I wouldn't expect it to be too unhealthy. So that's pretty good there. Um, I'm kind of interested in the cranking test. I want to see what that is all about. And there's also a charging test. Charging test will tell you if your alternator is putting out the correct voltage, but cranking test? That's really interesting. So start engine. I'm gonna have to get you situated here. Okay, let's give her a test and see what she says. Cranking time, cranking normal, 10.45 volts. So that 
that detected how low our battery voltage dropped while we were cranking. So that's pretty good. I like that it does that. All right, now that we got the, the whole thing running, let's go ahead and do a charge test, charging test. Wow, look at that, ripple test. Oh, interesting. Okay, I wonder, uh, I wonder if we can do that. I wonder if I hit enter, if I have to do that, or I wonder if it can tell. Hmm, all right, let me, uh, let me get it situated back where it was and I'll try to run and do that as quick as I can. Okay, I'm gonna uh, manually operate the throttle. Looks good. So of course you can do those last two tests with just a voltmeter. You can just hook it up and observe what the voltage drops down to when you, when you start the car and then go ahead and do uh, loaded and unloaded testing while the car is running. You should actually do, you know, unloaded testing at idle, see what the voltage is. Is it, you know, around 14 point something, you're good. Then turn on some things, turn on headlights, turn on your blower motor, your defroster, or something like that. And see where your voltage drops down to. If it drops down below 12.6, you know there's a problem at that and your alternator can't put out enough uh, voltage um, at idle. So yeah, you can do those two tests, but as far as the actual conductance testing goes, I, I, I kind of like that. I like being able to see you know, how healthy your, your battery is in a percentage form. That way I can kind of monitor my battery over time and figure out when you know, it looks like I'm gonna need a new battery. Uh, so, and I also like to monitor, uh, be able to tell uh, what the state of charge is and whether I need to, to charge my battery up because it's very important that you keep your battery fully charged at all times. If you don't do a lot of freeway driving, it's possible that your battery could be undercharged because you never drive your car long enough in order to get your battery fully charged up. So, uh, you know, I, I kind of like having this tool. It's really nice. I'm going to be able to monitor my batteries more closely. Anyway, if you like this tool, go ahead and pick one up. I'll throw a link down in the description. If you like the video, please toss me a subscribe. I'm the 50s kid. Thanks a lot for watching.